Well, it pays sometimes to be the early worm. Um, you may just be able to see over there the last remnants of some fog. You might be able to see over there, I don't know. Um, I came down and I just got the drone out and uh, I got some amazing shots. Um, hope you enjoy these. I hope you enjoyed those. Oh, I was really excited to sort of snap those and uh, and uh, see them come out on the, when I was editing the video. So, oh wow, you know you uh, you only get shots like that once every so often. So, yeah, brilliant. There's mine. There's Sailor Rob's, and you might see just right in the distance the other lugger is just coming off a mooring. Ready for a lugger extravaganza. We're uh, just going to move, move Lulu. There's a nice boat here coming in, and the guys just asked if he could have the end of here to rig his boat up. So that's not a problem. So we're going to just go and find a little spot over there with the other guys. There we go. We've made ourselves a, a Drascom lugger jetty here just waiting for these two to do what they're doing and then we'll be ready to sail that's the saxon dragon i've just been told which is the 
which is actually the English dragon, not the Welsh one. It's quite interesting. And maybe quite dangerous to fly around these parts in Wales. <laughs> I've got uh, my just two cameras today, the handheld and the one on the mizzen mast. There's Rob and Dave. For those of you that don't know, uh, I'm known as Dave Mark II, and that is Dave Mark I. He's in the white and green lugger and Rob is in the black one. And we're going for a lugger rally. I'm hove to at the moment. It's so easy to heave to in this boat. Um, but I'm now gonna unheave to and uh, well, maybe I'll follow these. Yeah, I think I need to get going now anyway. There's the other guys over there. Hopefully they're gonna attack now and follow me. We're gonna make our way all the way to the bottom of the lake. I think anyway, as far as we can get anyway. Right, let's do some sailing. Here we go. Oh. I do love beating. Tack. That's a lead shore, so we want to leave ourselves plenty of room. Uh, I was going to go around Boy Club, but I think I'm going to tack before because there's quite a few little boats and craft around here. So we're going to release the mizzen and then we're going to tack. There we go. Let the kid push us around because it's a big old boat. And then you can release it, bring the jib in, we're not racing. There we go. And pull the mizzen back in. Now, I'm just going to sort of try and meet up with these guys. So we're just going to do a little bit of reaching across the lake. Normally we'd be beating up there now, but um, I just want to get a bit closer. There's, there's no point going for a Draskam rally and uh, just sailing on my own. <laughs> so we're going to try and beat up with these guys. Crikey, my uh, mizzen sheet came right out. <laughs> so I had to go run to the back of the boat and uh, get that sheeted back in, otherwise the bumpkin would have fallen out. You can see I've actually got it wrapped around the wrong way and the eye and it's not going through the little eye But it seems to work, so we'll sort it out when we stop. But the guys are now in front of us, look. So we're gonna tack behind them and we're gonna try and, gonna try and keep up with them. Here we go, we're gonna tack behind these guys. bit lost there on that tack. Now we're there. 
There we go, little boat. Cool, now we're having a Drascombe rally. <laughs> I think this is Mike on his blaze dinghy. That thing is a crazy dinghy. It's so quick. When uh, we're all sat about, kind of cruising around, you see Mike comes whizzing along in that thing. It's a crazy dinghy. I bet it's really, really uh, exciting to sail, actually. <laughs> it's so nippy you can see when it catches the wind look look at that how it accelerates look at that I think my boat is definitely the lighter of the three boats. Obviously, Rob's over there, he's customised that quite heavily. He's got a cabin, uh, he's got loads of kit on his boat. Uh, mine's got nothing on it, really. I mean, I don't carry much when I'm in the lake. And Dave's is a newer one. He's got quite a lot in his cupboard. So I think my, my lightness is probably helping when it comes to uh, just catching them up a little bit. It's a grand little boat that. This is a grand little sail. It's really cool having the three of us together. Hello! <laughs> oh, we're doing quite well. Okay, we got a tack. We are running out of room. This is amazing. If I get a chance, I'll get the drone up. <laughs> oh yeah, so look at the difference. See the difference the sail, mainsail makes, like that. There you go, look at that. That's good. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. We're in. We're in. We're in the lead again. I think I've uh, definitely got the lightest boat, without doubt. Oh, and you catch a breeze like there, look. And we are off, look at this. Whoa. It 
it's amazing. It's like sailing a galleon, this boat. It's just thrilling, the whole majesty of it. It's just brilliant. It comes so different to the mirror, but equally amazing. We've just, we've just tapped. We're just going through the middle. I was running out of, uh, of water. We just got in the gap in between Rob and Dave there. <laughs> Nice shot of the guys there. There's what we call the White House. And the Red House is right back there. So we pass the Red House and the White House. The, the club uses these as like markers when we're racing. People will, you know, uh, refer to them so we, they know where, what's happening where on the lake. And we've definitely picked up some dusts now. Really gusting. Look at this. Let's pull that in a little. But well, we can't really. Yeah. We're very, very happy. I can't get the smile off my face right now, sailing with these guys. It's amazing. So let's see if we can steer with the mizzen. So I've got the tiller tied off and you can see we've got a decent course look. Now, if I let go of this, we should in theory steer to leeward. So we should come off, go that way as, as we're looking. And there we go, there we go. And now if we wanna come back, we pull the mizzen in tight and we should come back. Yeah, can you see how we're slowly coming back? So we're doing like an average of about three and a half to four miles an hour. We've just had a lull. Oh, it's a little little uh, gust there. We can see 3.8, 3.9, 4. Oh, healing a bit. 4.4, 5. 4.6, 4.7. Ooh, four point eight. We're definitely motoring here now. This has been a really enjoyable sunny summer sail. Just what I needed this week. Just beautiful, nice, leisurely. There's not even a splash of water come over the gunwales. We've got friends who are just behind us there. There's enough wind to be sailing, as you can see. And yeah, I, I can't wipe the smile off my face today. It's brilliant, brilliant. I think it's helped us with that little blue line that we fitted earlier. It's definitely put the sail in a better place. Um, you can see there are eyelets going up the, uh, ooh, is that not the luff? I forget what this part of the sail here is. You can see it's little eyelets. You can, you can strap, you know, tie the sail more tightly to the uh, to the mast. You can do that on the mirror as well. Uh, although my mirror sail doesn't have the eyelets, so it doesn't seem to make too much difference. What what it might do is just tighten the sail across here. So can you see where it's flapping there? It could help with that and just give the sail a little bit of tightness. But I think on a boat like this, the difference between you know 4.4 and 4.6 miles an hour is, you know, it's not the way you think really. I'm loving it. I'm loving this.
Sandwiches time. Yes. Oh, I've had my dinner. <laughs> I shall come and have a drink of water today. Eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, every time I sail this, I get so pleased with it. <laughs> we are on our way back. We're going to reach all the way back on this fine sunny day. There we go. There's Robin his uh, lugger, the black one, and then there's Dave. He's proper broad reaching actually over there. Then if you can just make him out. And I'm kind of trying to keep a line with Rob as well. We could do some broad reaching. All we've got to do is come off the wind a little bit or come onto the wind a little more like this. That's it and let these sails fill. You can see the mizzen fill quite nicely there. Oh, in fact, that's what Rob's done anyway. So you can instantly see the boat speed pick up. Yeah, very nice. So I'm always interested in, you know, the points of sail and how fast they are. So we were following this boat here and we weren't really making any headway against, against him. And now we've just come off onto, onto more of a broad, a pure broad reach. We're just aiming for Boy D over there in the, in the uh, distance. And we're almost catching him up laterally. So it'd be interesting if when we t uh, jive around this boy here, or marker, to see where we end up, see if we can catch. Catch up. We've, we have increased speed significantly on the broad reach point to sail. So if anything, we've not made any ground up really. If anything, we've lost a little bit of ground, but we haven't, yeah, I wouldn't say we've, we've lost too much ground. And we are now catching. Mounted here just, just hasn't worked. I, I, I literally can't see it. It's in the way. Uh, anything like this has is, is got to be higher up. We're almost back at the moorings. Go, yeah, Rob's just almost hove to and then what he will do is he will reverse using his mizzen onto his mooring which is you know remarkably clever and skillful we're going to give ourselves some sea room and we're going to use the motor to uh, play it safe 